Yes, yes. Glory, glory. It's a sign of condemnation, which can only be removed by saying, Lord, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son, whom All you right. sent to All be right. the savior of the world, and that he was crucified and buried and raised again on the third day. Amen. Now, once you, once you believe that, you get some indwelling Holy Spirit. You get to be born again, regenerated. All right. All right. You get a new spirit. You take a hold of the divine nature of God. Yes. And you have access to him 24-7. 365 or 370. <laughs> How many, many you want to call it? Amen. 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 So true. Now, so true. This truth that we've been talking about here, getting to know Jesus, it's all written. But uh, uh, who was it? Philip met the Ethiopian eunuch, and he was reading from Isaiah 53. And uh, Philip asked him, do you understand what you're reading? Yes. And the, and the, and the eunuch said, yes. how can yeah. I? Unless someone teach, teach me, me, lead me, or guide me. All right. That's and, what he said. And Philip, and sit down beside him, got up in his chariot and sit down beside him, and he preached Jesus. That's what he did. Now, God has laid a burden on my heart to get the people to change their mindset. I'm going to go back to that visual on camera number four because we want, we want people to come on this side of the cross. Yes. Nothing wrong, with, nothing wrong with the Old Testament. It goes all the way back to Adam. But on this side of the cross, you get some instructions directly from heaven, directly from God's Holy Spirit. All right. On this side of the cross. Mm -hmm. On this side of resurrection, on this side of Pentecost, you get the instructions directly from heaven, directly from God. These are not my words. These are God's words. Directly from mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. And the world needs guidance. Not counseling. Mm -hmm. Guidance. The world guidance. needs guidance. Christians need counseling. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. yes. The world needs guidance. Mm -hmm. How does God forgive sin? How does he grant eternal life? What's the sin that still separates man from God? How do I grow saving faith or sustaining faith? That's, that's, what, the, that's what the world needs. And God gave the church, to the church evangelists, pastors, and teachers scribes and wise men to guide the world into the truth that he has put into his word. A guided learning experience. There's some things that you have to believe. Got to. Amen. There's some things that you, that, you, that you have to believe. And the first thing that you have to believe is you have to believe in that Trinity. <laughs> that Father, Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. If you don't believe in the Trinity, there's one member of the Trinity that you have got to believe in. Because if you don't believe the Holy, Spi Holy Spirit, you slap him in the face. You just like spit in his face. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one that's going to convict you, convince you that what you're hearing is the truth. Mm-hmm. He's the one going to hold the, devil in, 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 hold the devil at bay until you get it in your mind that Jesus is really the one that you need to trust. The Holy Spirit, he convicts you. He convinces you of the reality of who Jesus is. So what do you need? You need some guidance on how to get to know Jesus. Amen. That's what you, that's what you need some guidance oh, on. Oh, yes. That's what the world needs. There's a fancy word for it called evangelism. That's all it is, telling the world about Jesus. Mm -hmm. So 
My time is just about up, and I want to give uh, the two church mothers a chance to make some uh, closing remarks or closing comments if they want to, however the, however the spirit, spirit lead them. Uh, if they want to make comments on anything that have, that have been said during, during this segment, uh, feel free to do so uh, at this time. I believe the word says, today you hear my voice. Uh-huh. Harden not your heart. Uh-huh. So I'm just asking you, don't harden, don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. Just open up your heart. You don't have a mind to be saved. Ask God to give you the mind. Mm -hmm. Give you the mind to be saved and to put the do right in your spirit. Mm -hmm. And in your heart. And in your heart. And in your heart. In your heart. We want our heart to be circumcised. Yes, yes, yes. Clean mm -hmm. from all filthiness mm -hmm. of the flesh. Yes, he does. Amen. As he it, told Nicodemus, he said earlier, you must be. Must be. This is a must. Must. Must be born again. Born again. Regardless of what you say. Uh -huh. All right. You must be. Well, in the few Amen. minutes that I, that I have left, I said that I was going to, uh, give you four reasons to, to believe in Jesus. I've shared some of them during the course of, uh, of, this, of this telecast. But I want to tell you what Jesus said. And then I'm going to go. He said, if you don't believe me for what I've said, believe me for the works that I've done, mm -hmm. the miracles that I have performed. Amen. So the next time you read the Bible and you read about him turning water into wine, feeding 5,000, right. that's a condemnation if you don't believe it. Amen. Because it's designed to increase your faith. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Mother Oham, I, I want to thank you for being on the program today and uh, Give my, give my regards to your pastor. Yes. Uh, and so the... It's been a Mother, blessing to be here. Mother Greer, I want to thank you for, for, for being with us and sharing with us today. I want to thank you for the prayer and reading scripture. Uh, give my regard to your pastor when you get back. Thank you. Sure will. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.